Cameron, the actual video is due in 10 minutes. Oh, shit. Man, magnificent thing, isn't it? It truly is. <laughs> oh, good! The locker bays are still closed. Uh, you ready for the sack? Mate, I'm actually over-prepared. Cameron, turn your camera on. Oh, sorry miss, I, I don't care. Miss, I just realised my phone was in my pocket, I'd like you to confiscate it. 4.30 and I've already finished all my homework. I should probably reread Station Eleven. Ah, I missed the bus. I should have known. It's always ten minutes early. Can't wait to catch a steal the canteen. Yeah, thirty bucks and reckon a sausage roll. Absolute bargain. Man, this online class is not only engaging but very interesting. Yeah, Miss Kerr, I heard that. Wait, what are we gonna do? It's been fifteen minutes. The teacher's not here. I gotta tell the office. Yes. Kara cancelled track again! Yes! Pat, what are you doing in your map? Oh, sorry. I was playing games. I'll send myself out. Oi, don't forget to write down the learning intentions and success criteria. <laughs> yo, 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 it's me, Cameron, and I'm here in English. I'm singing this song all night long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's got the rudest head at Mount Waverley? Oh, jeez. This one, there's so much competition. It's red hot. Um. I mean, your mate, Matt Marsh, is uh, uh, for consistency and... It's consistently yeah, rude. and willingness to stick to it. Like, I actually admire that perseverance, so I'm going to say Matt, he deserves some credit. Um, yeah, yeah. And we all know he's not going to get it anywhere else, so... How do you feel about 2020? I think there's no words, to be honest. It's gone. I'm glad it's gone. Miss, as you're an English teacher, can you spell pronunciation? No. <laughs> oh, miss, who gets the littest on the weekend? Now, um, you are all such responsible students. You just study all weekend and no one actually gets lit. Um, however, a shout out to Tom Macon who arrived on crutches at the beginning of um, 2020 from a uh, mosh pit incident where the corridor was a little bit too strong and he actually dislocated his knee. And if your house is burning down, you can only save one thing. Which would it be? Your Birkenstocks or the Nissan Pulsar? I'm probably leaning towards the Nissan Pulsar, although the Birkenstocks will be the second item. The 96 Nissan Pulsar, which is still going. Hopefully it lasts the year out. Uh, what do you like to do on the weekends? That's a bit of a rough question, considering we've all been in lockdown. We're not even allowed to do anything. I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. Do you yeah. do any puzzles or monopolies? Yeah, yeah, lots of monopolies. Yeah, many different monopolies. Okay. Miss Kerr, um, how does it feel that you're carrying all the year 12 PE? It's a lot of work, I'll give you that. <laughs> but I love the subject, so it's okay. Uh, who's your least favourite student? I think that'd have to be Riley Thomas. I remember he walking into my Year 9 science. Hi miss, sorry I'm late. I was a ball boy at the, at the Australian Open. I'll tell you what, Riley has just been riding on that claim to fame for the last four years. Who is your favourite student? Ryan is entertaining, but then again I don't teach him. And arguably no one does. Oh look, it'd have to be Michael Roberts. Why is that? Uh, I don't know, but I still started it about two years ago and it's just, it's tradition. If you could promote one teacher or sack one teacher, who would it be? Uh, there are too many to promote and none to sack. If you could promote one teacher and sack one teacher, which would they be? I thought about this. Um, on my previous answer, I said too many to promote, but Mr. Griffin, I think is a, what a man. And to sack with myself. <laughs> Dodgy. Out of both cats, Charles and Camilla? Yes. Which is your favourite? It's a really tough question, Tom. I'm going to lean towards Charles. Camilla's got a bit of sass about her, but Charles is very, very cute. Her hocking or Mr. Morden? Hair hocking. Oh. Student, you think most likely he's going to end up in jail? I won't tell you my prediction, but I will tell you why. Not, not a, a violent crime, but one of money. Right. Easy. So the next question was most likely to be a millionaire. Would that be the same person? <laughs> <laughs> Who's public enemy number one here? Uh, besides Pat? No, I think Pat takes the cake there. Yeah. Who do you think will go to jail and why? Sam, for reasons. <laughs> Disgusting business management last year. Who is most likely to become a millionaire? Sam, <laughs> for reasons. Disgusting <laughs> business management last year. Hopefully you can pay your bail. 
<laughs> Who is most likely to end up in jail? Is it awful to say it's gonna be one of the boys? I think okay. maybe one of the ones that's come out of ISO with a really bad haircut. Oh, to me, honest. perhaps Riley. Sorry, Riley, that's really cruel. But I'm gonna say Riley. I'm gonna go with that for the haircut. All right, who's most likely to end up in jail first? Besides Pat? <laughs> I think there's a few contenders. Who, out of all the Year 12 cohort, is most likely to end up in jail? Ryan DeMello is an easy answer and probably a common one, but it's always the one you don't expect. Maybe you. Okay, thank you. Who's the most likely student to go to jail? Um, what? what for? Just anything, really. Could be fraud, murder. Maybe Pat, because he's got a history of stealing. Oh, um, clocks. <laughs> or maybe Ryan, because he also has the intelligence to pull something off, but maybe not quite perfectly. Who's the most likely to go to jail? Um, it's Nathan due to a high speed getaway. Which student do you think is most likely to go to jail? None. What? All right, okay. That's Stephanie, that's Stephanie girl. And what do you She's think dodgy. Or do? Pat, actually. All right, miss, is there any drama going on between staff? What did she you want to know? Oh, everything. <laughs> I think that's for us to know and you guys to find it. Oh. Miss, do you ever miss your professional basketball career? I'm going to tell you a little bit of a secret, Sam. Um, I do miss it. During the lockdown in the WNBA, I actually had um, some phone calls from, rec from recruiters asking me to make a comeback. So at the moment, I'm actually deciding whether or not I should continue being uh, an educator or whether or not I should re-enter the basketball world. How long does it should it take to mark sacks? The school's got a policy of a two-week turnaround, and and I can I can safely say that I strictly adhere to the two-week turnaround um, at all times. I'm usually good within about two weeks, maximum three weeks, but it's never eight weeks. Never eight weeks. What is the weirdest thing you've seen at Mount? Um, oh, Tom Macon getting an A. Okay, yeah, that's right. Worst haircut in Year Twelve. Matt Marsh. Give <laughs> <laughs> that straight away. <laughs> the worst haircut. It was Mr. Lyon for a while there. I think I have to go with Joel Hatch. Favourite child? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter. Yeah, easy. My kids know this full well. That's very mean. Um, I think more... usually parents are like, oh, I don't have one, but no, to say it that quickly. Is... I think that's a, that's a lie parents tell to their kids. Student you think most likely to become famous? Um, maybe you, TikTok famous first, that might um, go somewhere. What are some unwritten rules at Mount Waverley? The down ball courts belong to the year 12s and the year 12s only. I've seen lots of um, like year 8s come over in year 9 and make that mistake. So, what are the unwritten rules at Mount Waverley Secondary College? Everyone should be safe. Yeah. Everyone has the uh, right to learn and don't poke the bear. You know, you've been here for a while. What is some things you'd uh, change at Mount Waverley? Easy, the trees outside the D room. If you were principal of the school, what would you change? Well, I don't like the green middle school uniform. Different colour. Yeah. Maybe like a burgundy, maybe? Like burgundy and blue, nice combo. If you were the principal of the school, what would you implement or change? Principal of this school, there's obviously people that I'm more fond of than others, so I would uh, promote buddies. <laughs> would you promote yourself? <laughs> what is your best memory from this year 12 cohort? None. Next question. Great. Who do you think is getting together? I, I think Christina. And, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty obvious one. I remember when Christina came to me and said, Miss, I've been kissing this boy. What should I do? One of my friends likes him. Well, I gave her some advice and they're still together. So obviously it was good advice. Who's your picks for ducks for the whole of year 12? Oh, ducks. Matt, top three for Matt. Look, I don't know. Maybe Sean. I don't know. Yeah. It's going to be very, very tight at the top, I think. Which students do you think are knocking boots? I don't know. Yes. Don't care. <laughs> Which student do you think would be famous? Oh. Ah. All the wrong reasons. <laughs> uh, Miss Kerr, who's the best dressed teacher? Mr. Morton would be up there. And Mr. Myers, because I love his definitely northern suburbs based okay. outfits, his socks out. He's very, shirt. very sized man. Yeah, very bronzy. Oh. Yeah. Who is the best dressed teacher? I'm going to have to go with Mr. Ritchie just because he's achieved comfort better than any other staff member um, I've come across. Best dressed teacher, other than yourself. Oh, it's definitely not me. <laughs> Mr. Bartlett. All right, who's your favourite student? That's a tricky question. There's there's a few, but I don't think I don't think it'd be fair for me to say any name. Definitely the students who chose accounting and those who dropped accounting, uh, like the one behind the camera.
What is your favourite sport to play at? In Prague. Oh, I reckon it's turbo touch. Are you sure it's not multi-ball? It could be, yeah, it's actually multi-ball, you're right, I like my multi-ball, it's a good time filler. Do you reckon the year level below us will be anywhere as good as we were? No, no way, you gotta take the time. I, I resigned actually when I did that's it, end of year 12 for me, I'm, I'm going with you guys to wherever you guys go. How would you describe this year's year 12s in one word? Resilient, just taking the blows as they come, pushing through, not complaining, just taking everything in your stride and bouncing back from the tough times. Well done, crew. Hey guys, just wondering, who was your first crush in year seven? Shadi. Wendy, so anyway, who was your first crush in year seven? Um, Lightning McQueen. <laughs> so Amelia, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? <laughs> Lockie Rankin. Um, Jennifer, first crush in Mount Waverley? Oh, uh, Pat Facey. Pat Facey, Oh, So Pat Facey, um, first crush? Uh, my first crush is Jennifer Slegel. So Cameron, um, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Uh, Paige. Uh, so Vinit, who was your first crush? Uh, Ashley Lazrosi. Benno, hey mate, how you going? Hello, I'm good. Um, just a quick question for the video, uh, who was your first crush in year 7? My first crush was Yassi Wilkes. Yassi Wilkes. <laughs> Alright Dylan, who was your first crush? That would be Amelia Benno Stoy. Yeah, quick question for the video, stop walking away from me please. Um, who was your first crush in year 7? You. Yeah. I remember I liked Bass for a bit. <laughs> who was your first crush at Mount Waverley? Ella <laughs> Um, I'd have to say Cameron LaJosie. Oh wow. Hey Charlie, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Oh, uh, let's go with Amelia. I wasn't even here on your son. The season check name Emily. <laughs> Hi Amanda, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Ray Hong. Lena, you know, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Tim Nicotin. <laughs> hey Paige, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? It was George Mastropoulos. Yazzie, Yazzie. I'll say for her. <laughs> hey Yasmin, who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Dylan. And um, who's your first crush in Mount Waverley? I know. That boy over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who was your first crush in Mount Waverley? Oh. That's hard, hard but I'd say Anna. Everyone oh. knows mine. Uh, Joel Hatch. Maybe Riley Thomas? <laughs> uh, Riley Thomas, I believe. <laughs> Who was your first crush on Mel Avery? Joshua Resty. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> um, it was Emmanuel Kiriaki. <laughs> Lacey's Howard. So Tom, who was your first crush at Mount Waverley? Um, Paige Saronis. So I'm asking you guys, who was your first crush at Mount Waverley Secondary College? Probably a teacher, to be honest. <laughs> it wasn't you. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit, alright. Why are people asking me this? <laughs> oh, Jordan Gann. Dylan Clark. Hey mate, how you going? Oh. Uh, quick question for the video. Uh, who's your first crush in Year 7? I gotta go. Tyler Montgomery. Well, I'm pretty sure we all knew I had a crush on Rayhan at one point. So let's go. Hey, Kiri, how you going, mate? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yourself? Uh, I'm just wondering, who's your first crush in your seven? Oh, I'll say loud and proud. It was on a bleach wall. I know. It's, it, it's between Jordan and my uncle. Like, <laughs> it's one of them. Who's this chick he's had every day? Don't know. Can't remember her name. I think my first crush was Deb. Sorry, Sam. Um, Alyssa. Who's your first crush in year seven? Uh, I, I don't talk to girls. Didn't have a crush. No comment. <laughs> nah, no comment. <laughs> no one. Yeah, yeah, no, no one. Who's your first crush list? <laughs> oh, I'd have to say Pat Facey, man. <laughs> That's uh, confidential information. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I don't remember. Uh, no comment. <laughs> Didn't have one. I don't remember. I kind of. Um, I don't know. It was mine. That was way back. I didn't even remember. Who's your first crush at Mount Avery? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't even remember. Alright, mad. Don't have one. Uh, who's your first crush in year seven? <laughs> Jordan Todd. That's true. Jordan Todd as well. <laughs> What's yours, Jordan Todd? No, it's, it, it, it's one of you three, but I'm not going to say who it is. I didn't have one. I didn't have one, no. Pat Facey. Pat Facey? I'm sick. Ah, oh, Miss Coringes, bro. 
Oh my god! <laughs> so, Ryan, when did you fall in love with soccer? Um, year six. This quick question was kicking me out of massive events the hardest day in your teaching career. Uh, still to this day, one of the most memorable experiences of my time at the junior site, Pat. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> Do a quick maths question, Sam. What's, Bro, what's why are you putting me on the spot like that? What's what's fifty six divided by seven? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Close enough. How many grams are in an ounce? Twenty eight. <laughs> Uh, sir, just one question. <laughs> yeah. 18. Can you sing 18 for us? Yeah, 18. Oh, oh my god! How <laughs> much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, can it chuck wood? Okay. Alright, Christina, what's the weirdest thing that you've seen at Mount Waverley? When the t shirt bends over and you see the thing. Okay then. <laughs> How's it feel being the captain of Mount Waverley? It's alright. Uh, not too bad, you know. COVID 19's <laughs> but. The most important thing is that we're doing it together. The worst thing you've done in Mount Waverley? Oh, I skipped assembly once. Hid in the in the bathroom so that Mr. Bill wouldn't cop one. Just wondering, are you still a big fan of the Amol Hatch um, <laughs> Instagram account? I think I still follow it. Describe school in one word. I think it's too but self-deprecating. Hell. Depression. Whack. Great. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're here with Tom, the creator of this video. What's the biggest lie you've told your parents? Um, probably that I was like a movie cinema when I was like in a creek or something. <laughs> of the following of your past three girlfriends consisting of Polly, Claire and Daniela, who was the best? <laughs> I don't think I can answer that. You know, Danny's pretty goaded. Yeah, I think I'd have to go with Danny. What's life like in paradise? What do you mean by paradise? Yeah. Mm, never mind. <laughs> Miss Bruno, can we go to the toilet? So Pat, um, who's your favourite teacher? Uh, my favourite teacher is Miss Track. She's, a, yeah, she's a great woman. Um, she's very beautiful. <laughs> and with Trish, the front office. Um, Trish, who are you sick of giving lights to? Oh, I never get sick of giving lights out. I love them. That's why I passed you 12. Sam, through the best party of all time, do you have any tips for people who are wanting to throw something after COVID? Invite anyone you know and everyone you know. What's the weirdest thing you've seen at the school? What's the weirdest thing? The people broken so many things. Blocking the sinks? What do they block it with? They've broken the glass. Glass? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Do, you want to say, do you want to say anything to it? Nah, that's okay. Year 12? Year 12? Oh, uh, enjoy your life. Oh, thanks, you. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah. is a European name. Yeah. In saying that, who's your favourite European handball player? What? Ellie? Yes. What's the best fake tanning brand? Oh, definitely Bondi Sands to give you that really, like, orange look. What are your thoughts on the current socio-political state of the proxy war in Syria? <laughs> <laughs> on that oh, I don't know what that is. I know if you had one word to describe this year, what would it be? If you could eat one food from the canteen for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'd rather starve. Really? The pinwheels are so nice. <laughs> kale. It's your favourite vegetable. Oh, broccoli or something? No, it'd have to be kale. Well, then that. Uh, Miss Beard, quick question here, mate. Um, are you happy with your uh, energy provider? Energy provider? Yeah, I think so. That's good. All right, that's all. <laughs> um, I like the fit. Um, where'd you get it, mate? My uh, wardrobe. Who's your favourite teacher? Mr. Simon, the media teacher. Any reason? He's so good at media. What did you have for breakfast this morning? <sighs> uh, bacon. If you could be any subject in the school, what would it be and why? Literature, just because it's very chaotic. Drama, because it's probably just my favourite subject. So we're here with, um, are you recording? Oh, we're from Tiger, man! A fighting fury, we're from Tiger! So Ben, if you could describe your schooling experience in one word, what would it be? Do you think you'll get better than your brother? Yeah, of course. Um, so you're picking yourself for ducks? Yeah, there's no doubt, man. So which subject do you think you're going to get the highest in? Uh, methods, maybe. So not raw 50 in all of them? Yeah, probably, yeah. Probably? Yeah, yeah. What about your brother? What's he going to get? Probably like 40s. 40s? Yeah, Low yeah. 40s? Yeah. Hey, Riley, um, it's for the video here, mate. Uh, what's 57 divided by 9? 
Um, peanut butter, smooth or crunchy? I'm gonna go crunchy. Do I have to explain my answer? Or yeah, I don't it? really know. I'm allergic, so I have. Oh, no oh yeah. Sorry, that was. Now I'm being insensitive. Yeah. yeah. So Nathan, um, what's the worst thing you've gotten away with at school? Oh. Probably, probably faking that I can't walk. I do it for the benefits, you know. What's the worst thing you've gotten away with at school? Cheating on my exam. <laughs> cheating off Jasmine on my math exam. Probably just cheating in like tests and stuff, like writing stuff here. Which students do you think are knocking boots? <laughs> There's one close to me on those a bit. And actually, someone's got a last year 12. Is that still going? Imagine if it wasn't. So I know two that are standing, standing near me. And Pat, you're not lucky enough to knock boots with anyone, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't, don't have looks for it. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Who is the most incompetent at chem preps and why is it Danny and I? Uh, the reason that it's you two is because you literally can't do anything right. If you could be any subject at school, what subject would you be? Uh, PE. People might like you. Methods, because I just want to kill myself. Can't. <laughs> okay. Luke, how many times have you uh, paid the canteen ladies? They pay me, because... <laughs> I'm just that hot. All right, guys, um, sport's a big part of school, and in saying that, who's your favorite European handball player? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. No, Pat. Oh, no. So, one thing you'll miss about the school? Uh, canteen. Seeing my friends. Canteen. If you were an element on the periodic table, yeah. what would you be and why? Gold. No explanation required. <laughs> hey, what's one thing you'll miss about school? Not much. Miss the drama, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Yeah, my friends. I feel like probably getting to see Fina on a daily basis. The garden. Just like having really good times with my friends and my teachers. Like, my friends. Nathan. Yeah, probably bullying Nathan. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> my friends. Definitely the fourth square. Um, friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, friends as well. Kinda gonna miss the petty drama. Singing way too obnoxiously with everyone. Yeah. Right? Canteen dim sims. If you were a subject, what would you be? I don't know. That's such a weird question. I think you'd be um, human health development because you're really easy. Okay, if you could be any subject at school, which one and why? Research, because you just with your friends. I'm not a subject anymore. I don't care. Alright, that's good there. What's the worst thing you've gotten away with at school? Uh, no comment. <laughs> uh, showing up to school. Like that, okay. What is the meaning of life? You're gonna find happiness, you're gonna find purpose, you're gonna ride in Kira's BMW at 240 kilometers an hour in the 60 zone. Why are you late to school? Oh, um, I didn't have period one and two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zach, what's the worst thing you've gotten away with at school? Uh, I think I cheated my way through year 12. Were you an ABC3 kid or a Nickelodeon kid? Oh, uh, Nickelodeon, gotta say. So, Ben, um, give us your best pickup line, mate. <laughs> you should go do a bit of pointing and like look at him from across the room and do a bit of like dance moves and stuff. That's how you pick him up. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about? Favorite type of peanut butter, smooth or crunchy? <laughs> oh, I love all types, man. Uh, especially when they kill me, so that's <laughs> Yeah. What is the worst thing you've gotten away with at school? I just wagged a lot, yeah. What's your home address? And when aren't you home? Yeah. So, Leeson, um, how does it feel having a ball and chain around your leg all, uh, all the time? Ledge. <laughs> rooftop or ground party? A rooftop always. Yeah. <laughs> Canada or Australia? Canada. Hands up. The worst haircut in the whole of Mount Waverley? <laughs> Matt. Matt, yeah. <laughs> Just wondering, um, what's the worst thing you've gotten away with at Mount Waverley? Being immortal! So, if you guys were a subject, what subject would you be? I'd be physics because it, it's interesting. It's an actually, you know what? No, no, I won't be physics. I'm not interesting at all. Probably, I don't know, sport because it's fun and entertaining, I guess. I don't know, probably chemistry. Chemistry? It's just my favorite subject. Um, okay, other than that, uh, just reactive. Okay, easy, perfect. Reactive. We love that. We love that. We love that. Thanks, guys. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at, still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my
my bed and dream about what I become. Can I wait to get older? Can I wait to be some? Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these would be the good old days. All the love you won't forget, and all these reckless nights you won't Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that full time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're still young Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past While missing out on now, we've come so far I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things you don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. You don't know oh, oh, oh. What, what you got, got. Oh, oh, oh. till it goes. Got lots of hair on my head. <laughs> my name is Fred. No, it's not. Uh, uh. <laughs>